Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Buried One and today I have three miners for you guys. There's only one you don't know yet. It's the Claymore Buried Ether Miner. Uh, it's recently launched. It's actually a dual miner, but I made it so it only mines Ethereum because somehow it didn't work out so well. So I added it a little bit so you can just mine Eth like any other way. But the question is, which one is the most efficient to mine Ethereum with. So here we go. First of all, we have the Buried Eth Miner. All the links will be on the labels, I guess, of the download if you need one of those. So the first one, the Buried Eth Miner, uses 395 watts when overclocked, hashing at 42 mega ashes per second. And normal clock, you only use 360 watts at 37.5 mega ashes per second all the mega ashes will be the same so i won't repeat those but um on the ethereum classic we have a very very high power increase we are hashing at about 426 watts and if we do not even overclock them it's already using 400 400 watts so but finally people suggested me Hey man, check out this Claymore uh, miner. It should be more efficient. So, the hash rates are just exactly the same. No difference. Overclocked, we reached 380 watts. So we have a little 15 watts less than the first Ethereum miner we used always. And standard clock, we have 355 watts. So that's only a 5 watt increase on the same hash rate. So here are the results and I'm going to mine some more with the Claymore miner of, co of course because I'm not really sure if the miner brings as much money as it says like uh, the normal buried F miner we're using gives an average of 0.32 ethereum every day so the Claymore one has to reach the same goal of course. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys on the next one. 